They're pretty good. With the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <laughs> Oh, <Okay>. God. <sighs> Yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people into... No one expect me to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. The same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ? Listen, we haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Help AJ make friends. AJ make friends, something I can't do. <laughs> I'm not ready. Not ready? Come not on, yet. man. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hello. Hello. Oh hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the... Hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Why? Okay. That was rude, bitch. What about these guys? Hey. Hey. Oh, I haven't met this guy. You I am. You didn't even see him. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You want to see something cool? I want to see. Yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. What about these guys? Okay, so we need some friends mm, over there. Yeah. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. 
You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Ah, uh, let's go over here. There's that girl, I bet. Well, damn. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Okay, so he made friends over there. Uh, what else? What about these guys? Uh, it looked right that uh, there was a pathway. Oh, pathway. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. Ten. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry too. What happened to his face? What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried Ten Sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk ready to Ready to apologize. Okay. I am ready to apologize for elbowing you in the dick. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? <laughs> Don't it's swear, buddy. Depth. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! Stew's done. You guys earn your supper after all. The stew! Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> that was a good one. Enough! Thank you! Enough? <laughs> good night, Ruby! Oh wow. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> That's all nice. done. What? 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 <laughs> he already mm -hmm. finished it. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, Cards. God. Good night. Magic. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know what? the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. Oh, what? no, no. I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait, what about AJ? Oh, he's what gone out. AJ? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, I was maybe. Just home with that one. This is his mm. first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. I don't know how to play this game. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? Well... You two don't really look related, so... They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> Marlon's haircut. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs? Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. <laughs> I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. No, you're not. Are you? Season one reference. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't. By the way, I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them, but I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Uh, I win. So. Well, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. So 
seems like all the questions are past season. Yeah. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Uh... Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Hmm. He deserved it. Carver. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. You? Probably? Why probably? You asked a morbid question, there's your morbid answer. Oh, oh. shit! There we go. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? She's pissed off now. Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yeah, my friend Kenny. What happened? What, like, led up to it? His heart broke and never put itself back together. Believe me, I did him a favor. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Good night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Get human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay? We can talk about it. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh. Shit, I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... It's fine, don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's, it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. I mean, probably. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. 
I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. I guess I just lost my train of thought. Most of us that are still around, a lot of times we have more bad memories than good. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah. See ya. She seems a little odd. Okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay. Here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. You tried really hard. <laughs> there you go. How about here? Uh, AJ? Where'd he go? What? What the? What you hey doing? Hey there. there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem, it's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too.
still wearing the same goddamn He's gonna clothes. let us stay, right? Yeah. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Okay, so now we gotta follow AJ to the office. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Totally now, not lying. give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Hello? It's the door. Hello? Marlon? <laughs> it's the dog. It's the chimp. Oh, no. Stay back. Okay, doggy. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay, bro. Aw, oh, man. I thought we were having, gonna have to kill it. He said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. She just almost killed us, though. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Sure. Rosie. Okay, I guess. Get down at her level. Yeah, maybe this might come in handy. It's okay. I guess I know. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. So lie down, Rosie. Ah, that's cool. That's so cool. See? Not so John hard. can't do that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. 
Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vi and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. And what's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well... Sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Okay, so let's go to the forest and hunt some wabbits. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. Don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Big place. <laughs> Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. <laughs> well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Let me guess, Skilled in the craft of martial them. arts. Huh? Oh, too. you too? I thought I was the only one. Me too. <laughs> oh my god. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, 
I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans We're probably B, gonna C, get into D. trouble right now, and we're gonna have to decide... And what if you don't make it that far? Or... Shut up a second. like a walker pinata <laughs> cut it down fix the snare and let's go I will I will eventually if you want food for the kid I could use a hand or you can mess around with this idiot and starve it's up to you <laughs> oh you can stand so dramatic Help a Sim or Lewis? Why would I help Lewis? He's not doing anything. Okay, Sim. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. <laughs> yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird. You good shot? Looks fun. Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Oh man, I'm not really that good of a shot. In Last time I was games. out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Uh oh. Ah, I missed. I always miss. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. I saw some others run this way. Wow, I really messed up. I thought it was they were just gonna run across. Come on, dude. Shit. They're such a pain in the ass to hit. Clem! Clem, come here! I don't get one more shot. Dude. Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why to get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Hi, bunny. Really? Bunny. What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I guess this is it. Hopefully next time there are more targets. And maybe some sharper aiming. Yeah, sorry. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any. He just fish. trashed This isn't going to be enough for the whole school. I, I mean, like aiming fish. in these games is kind of hard. Because the great. cursor moves so slowly. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Hop and stop, hop and stop. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Quim, look. Oh, they ran into some trouble. 
monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. Stand back. Hey, Holy you notice shit. that? This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Uh-oh. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. Go to train the train station. It's not too far from here. I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. That's a lot of walkers. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either <laughs> die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem? Maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Body. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. She Look, did? I got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Just get up there. The quicker we get this over with, the better. Decisive. I like that in a woman. Just stop. <laughs> stop. Oh my god. This whole entire I'll episode, he's just been like Give hitting on Clem. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then. I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not 
avoid them. Not you either. Maybe stay as far to the right as you can. Not like reaching out trying to grab you, they're just sitting there. Yeah. Well, in the Walking Dead, if they go long enough without food, they like stop yes, having the desire perfect. to. Clint, look. To eat. Try it out. See if it works. Well, Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> Gonna question how there be any food down there since there was an explosion in there. Yeah, I don't know. There could be some. I mean, he, he got something. Good job, AJ. Is there more? What is that? I don't know. Keep it coming. It looks like a white liquid. It's all the same. It's gotta be fresh. Be a feast, I mean. Oh, there's some. Our food. It's gonna be a feast, yet you only have four cans so far. Well, stand. Slowly. That's not good. Uh -oh. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. That's... I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. What? Okay. He's the one that was smoking the cigarette. I mean, this is my guess. You and your friends made a lot of noise there. out there. It wasn't hard to follow. Really? Well, no. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. Really? Just I can be a real yes. butterfinger sometimes. Oh, oh what? No. no. AJ needs to do something. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. I count you plus the two outside. I'm thinking maybe more. You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked now, hard to get this stuff. 
Well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Mm. Now that's impolite. Pull the trigger first, AJ. Come on. Don't do it, do it. steal from us. I'm not Wait, stealing. no, because he could just shoot him this too. Yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Do it now. What now? Listen up, Just hold on a minute. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me. Because here's the thing: if AJ shoots him, you understand? It's not gonna kill him. Attack him. I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm. Maybe you can throw him out the window with the walkers. Maybe. AJ, get down. Hey. Sorry. There's no way he's not dead from that. Just take a bag and fill it up. Oh man. Yeah, he was firing off his weapon. Run! To me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. She's what? been talking about this with Marlon for that long. I don't know, maybe. It seems like it'd be like six hours or Take something. Take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? <laughs> That's what you said. I know, that is what I said. said in 10 role plays, though. That's Check awesome. It out. What the hell? Oh. That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Thanks. Like, seriously. Lewis and Violet helped, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. <laughs> Where did you find all this? The old train station. Oh, then there's gonna be Where that one was? person who gets train mad. Station. That's outside the safe zone. Yep, We'd have even know it. More, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. She knows something. Nah, she's freaking out too much. Did he follow you? Nope. Yeah, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! He's probably car part of a Look, huger Look, I don't girl. know if he got out of there, we'll but if he did, he won't say. make it for long. You attacked him? Really? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. He's, he's gonna take what the food. What were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You're out of line, You can't Brody. be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh man. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Wow. Awesome. Well, you know, that's a nice thank you for getting us a shit ton of food. Clem. I know I asked you for help. Oh my god, here it comes. You did. You did. But. Shit. God. Nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, 
talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Oh. I just want to know what those jars are full of, though. Mm -hmm. They look like pudding or Don't some sweat type it. of lard. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by Probably. anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can yeah. Take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. Really? Everyone's leaving so soon. You just started. I think I'll go too. Really? Uh, see you later. All the good people are leaving. <laughs> Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being what? a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. What? Uh I doubt it. Psychopath. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. This boy is Catholic. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. Oh, okay. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. I'm still wondering what that thing is on You wanna face. be there too? Looks like he got burned. I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? He's basically just he asking you to die. He's <laughs> like, okay. hey, do you want to be in my picture about death? The... <laughs> Here you face. go. That's a nice It's picture. yours. It's ours. Ten's got some real talent. It's getting late. Is yeah, it, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't Why is you everyone coming? pushing us to sleep? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Just started though. Good night. See you tomorrow. Wow, he didn't say good night back. Unfriend. <laughs> Un